Okay, so here we are. Got the zip ties on there to hold it tight. And then I'm soldering each section at a time, clipping the zip ties off as I go. And then filling in the gap when the zip tie is removed. After the first one or two, it goes pretty quick and uh, moves right along. It actually took me longer to take the pictures than it did to do the soldering. Uh, but I went back over the edges and tried to seal the edges up pretty good and, um, and stuck it together with the Loctite 680 glue and there we are. Okay, here we go. Completed. Soldering job is not as even as the factory one was, but it's soldered. It's on there. It's not coming loose. I used some of this Loctite 680 retaining compound. Put it on there liberally, and uh, you can see a little bit. It's still wet. I'm going to leave it dry for 24 hours before I stick it in there. Uh, comes on green. Slips on pretty good. There's a little dab of it there. This end is much looser than the top top flange was a firm fit and would probably hold it pretty good without the compound. Oh, I just found a cut there. I'm going to have to solder that. Okay, got that soldered. It was not totally ripped. Still had a couple fibers there to hold it together, but uh, better safe than sorry. Better do it now. The solder does not want to stick too well to the uh, stainless steel. There is a ridge here where the steel met, the steel uh, hole stuff is wrapped around on each other, and the solder went into that depression, and it holds it that way. But it is it is not on there. Um, so it is not soldered on there. So, uh, but I did line it up with that seam like the factory did. That makes more sense because there's more holes available elsewhere where it doesn't overlap. So, anyway, we'll check back in 24 hours and get that installed.